I should start by explaining a rough layout of my apartment block. Um, the, the building is a big square with a large yard in the middle that's maybe 20 metres across with a kids play area, some grass, tables and chairs set up for the rare nice days we have here. My kitchen is four floors up and looks out over the yard and into the windows of the apartments on the other side. Not that I'm a peeping Tom or anything, but a lot of people don't tend to close their curtains at night for some reason and when I go into my kitchen it's easy to see what the adjacent neighbours are doing for dinner. Last week it was around 7pm and was dark outside. I was in the kitchen getting a drink from the fridge and I, I happened to look across the yard into one of the windows. There was a couple sitting at the table eating dinner. I don't know the couple personally, I've never spoken to them. What I did notice though was there was a man standing in the corner of the kitchen, perfectly still, just watching the meat. I thought it was a bit strange. I would personally find it off-putting if I was eating and somebody was standing and watching me. Something about him just seemed off. He wasn't particularly tall, he was wearing a black coat which was buttoned all the way up. It's strange for being indoors and I couldn't make out his features, although his face was very pale, under his longish black hair. I didn't stand and watch for much longer because I didn't think much of it other than thinking it was a bit weird and he was rather creepy. I went back into the living room. Two nights ago, I couldn't sleep and, and was thirsty. I got up and went to the fridge for a drink. I noticed that the same neighbour's kitchen light was still on. The woman was sitting, crying at the kitchen table, but the man who was watching from the other night was also there, standing in the exact same spot as he was before, not moving, just watching her. She got up to get a glass of water and was right next to him, but again she didn't acknowledge his presence. It was as though he wasn't there. There was something not quite right about him or, or the situation, so I decided to turn my kitchen light off, grab my binoculars, I know how it sounds, but I really needed to see his face and try to get a closer look at him. I crouched down on the floor and looked through the binoculars. It would have been almost impossible for me to be noticed. She was back sitting at the table, sipping her water. I moved to look at him. He had the same black coat on, still buttoned to the top. It was almost theatrical looking. It buttoned right to the top, with cuffs on the sleeves and pretty much reached the floor. His features were indistinguishable, his hair was covering most of his face. It looked like it hadn't been washed in weeks. What scared me though, was when I saw his hands. His fingers were long, bony white, with hideous rotten nails that surely nobody would find acceptable in this day and age. I wondered who the hell this guy was, and why he was just standing, looking at her. I noticed his hand moving up towards his face. When I moved my binoculars back upwards, he was looking directly at me, with his hideous finger on his lips, making a shh gesture. Then he smiled, a wide, black, toothless grin. I immediately dropped the binoculars and got onto the floor. My heart was pounding. He'd seen me. After a couple of minutes and deep breaths, I, I slowly worked up the courage to look out of the window again. He was gone. She was still sitting at the table. I'm, I'm completely freaked out by this. I have no idea what to do. But I feel like something is badly wrong over there. She clearly doesn't know that he's there, watching her. How the hell do I tell my neighbour that I looked into her kitchen with binoculars? I'd be arrested. I can't get his smile out of my mind. Or the fact that he saw me. <laughs>